All right, how you doing? I'm back with another episode. I picked up a couple of books this weekend, and some of these just fell into my lap. I picked up a really good book today that I'll, I'll save to the end and show you. But uh, you know how I have the New Mutants 98? That's a 9-8, and that's the Mark Jewelers variant. I figured I'd pick up his cousin, which is the New Mutants 87, 9-8, with white pages. Shows really, really well. I was very happy to get that one. I love that glare in the background, but yeah, picked up that one. Very happy about that. And then I picked up, you know, it's not really a mainstream character, but I really, really love this book for some reason. And maybe you guys can tell by the back just what it is. It is a Comico Primer number 2, uh, CGC 9.2, White Pages. Now, I actually had this actual book before. It was sold locally, and I was able to pick it back up this weekend. So I was pretty happy about that. Happy to have it back. It's got really tight sound pages to it and uh, tiny color breaks along the spine but it still fell into the 9.2 category and I was very very happy about it and then I did a trade this weekend I got rid of that Star Wars one 9.6 which I loved and I got rid of that Conan 8.5 and I picked up a House of Secrets 92 75 or 7.5 with uh, off-white pages if you don't know what this is, I almost don't want to tell you, but it's the first appearance of Swamp Thing. It's a crazy book, very difficult to get in a higher grade, and I was ecstatic about it. So, very nice book. I've never had this book. I've had the Comical Primer. I've had that New Mutants 87. Never had a House of Secrets 92. God, I hope they do something with this character, but... Anyway, beautiful cover with a black and a purple and her looking in a mirror. I just think it's, I absolutely love that cover. And today I went to a comic show, Comic Con in Buffalo, which was pretty huge. Awesome. A lot of comic book dealers, had a really good time there. And this is a book I've had more than my fair share of times. But uh, he had $7.50 on it. I was able to get him down to a very reasonable price. And I picked up Amazing Spider-Man $129. Very sharp, very sharp. It looks like it falls into the 8.590 category. So he had it at 750. I said, how about 575? And he said, ooh, I can't do 575. He said, how about 640? I said, I really can do 625. And so that's what I fell into for 625 is the amazing 129. Uh, Staples completely intact. The, co the cover is cut perfectly. I mean, there is no offset at all. Sometimes you'll see where this, you can't see the top of the explanation points. It's cut and it's going, it goes that way too far. Or occasionally you can't see the S in Spider-Man because it's wrapped that way. You can see the entire code up on top. It's cut perfectly on top. This book is beautiful. I'm going to send it out to get pressed. There's a guy who does it for me. He's in Massachusetts. His name is, uh, last name's Avery. He does a lot of my books for me. I found him on uh, on Facebook. You guys can look him up. It's LLC Avery, I think it is. And uh, he does a really good job. And from there, there on, I'm going to send it out to CBCS because I have credit from him from the actual last couple books that I uh, that I sent out. So, yeah, I was stoked to get my 129 back. You know, especially with the new series coming out on Netflix. They are, it's already being filmed, so it's definitely happening. I used to have a 9.0 with this book, and I sold it, God sakes, 10 years ago. And I've missed that 9.0 ever since, so I'm praying this comes back a 9.0 or above. I mean, it is so sharp. There's no rounded corners happening. Maybe up here, a little rounded, tiny smidge. I don't know if you can see it, but I love the way it's cut. I love being able to see every little nuance of this cover. And again, another book that doesn't have no UPC code on it, so you can see it's just artwork straight across. And I absolutely love it. So yeah. That's all I got. Very happy with that. The House of Secrets 92, that New Mutants 87, now 98, nine, eight, and that Comical Primer 92. Maybe they'll do something with Grendel sooner or later. It's got to happen, right? I mean, how many characters can they use? they got to go off the mainstream and try and find something, you know, that's hidden, that people don't know so much about it, and bring Grendel to the movies, and maybe him and Swamp Thing can fight. <laughs> That'd be great. But, uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. I don't know what's happening soon. If I'm going to be picking up... There's another comic book show happening next weekend, so... Uh, I'll see what I can pick up then, but uh, in the meantime, have a good rest of the day and happy collecting. Thanks, guys. See ya.